guess what I'm going to be doing? So I'm now just working one panel at a time, getting all the small imperfections out. There's still loads of little bits to get done. The bonnet's now done. That's ready for another coat of paint. I can only imagine the amount of time people put in at prepping and painting things. I mean, I've put hours in, don't get me wrong, but I ain't no professional. I bet they put in thousands of hours just to get it right. Anyway, I'm gonna call this door done. That's ready for paint. On to the next one. Gonna change it up a bit now. Deck lid. Deck lid done. So the long story cut short is that there's a lot of areas that need respraying. This entire near side rear quarter and the B pillar. Probably this small section here of the near side gutter. Various areas of the dash where there's some shadowing. And a little bit of burn through there. Little touch up required around that window wiper. Little bit on the offside A pillar. Offside front quarter. Offside B pillar and rear quarter. And then eventually all the panels that go on her. But most importantly, the body's priority at the moment. So I've masked up what I need to mask up. Got the area sprayed, but this side, I've got some contamination going on there again. So that's gonna to have to get redone. Pretty endless at the minute. Right, I've sprayed the whole thing again. To be honest, I love the look of this paint without me having to wet sand it down. This time round, it looks like I've applied it so much better. It's got a lovely finish to it. Like I said before, it's no show car, but it's gonna be a nice car. I've gotta put the mask back on because it stinks. Just started to use the uh, new DA that I got myself. Just a little test patch on the roof. Still got a few little swells on this side and a little dark patch right along here. So I might actually blow that in again. A little bit better with a polishing, eh? But I didn't like the way there was a load of shadows on that window pillar there, so I've taken it back. I'm gonna redo that bit. And I've just received the new steering box bracket from Eva Resto. I've mentioned it in a previous video. It basically replaces the bottom bracket of the steering box and uh, it's got that turning circle stop on there also. So hopefully that's one of the little jobs I can get done. So this is exactly the same as the other pillar that I've just rubbed down. I'm not too sure if you can pick it up on camera, but there is a lot of shadowing, or should I say, different tone of blue where I've buffed it. And I can only imagine that that is something to do with the uh, actual application of paint. So this is the last bit to get sanded and then polished. And then after that, I'm gonna go around the whole car and mark off exactly what needs a little bit more attention, a little bit more paint maybe, or any marks that might need sanding and buffing out. And then I'll get going on the panels a bit more. 
Well, I'm hoping this is going to work. So I've just masked off the area on that pillar. But I'm now going to 800 with uh, wet and dry. And then I'm going to blow some more blue in there. Hopefully rectify that shadowing. Hardest part is probably going to be masking off the rest of the car. So that's another coat on the bonnet and the deck lid. Hopefully I've got enough paint to get that rear valance and all four wings done. The uh, patchwork on the actual body didn't go too well to be honest got quite a few runs in it made the paint up a little bit too thin but uh, as always hopefully I'll be able to rectify that might look a lot better but it's a long way to go yet that's the rest of the panels done but I know full well that I'm gonna need a little bit more paint on the body and I've actually run out now that's okay, I'll just order another litre. A litre should do. Obviously I've left it a while and the panels are dry to touch. I'm going to let them cure for a good few days and find some jobs in between. So I've still got the doors and all the touch-ups to do. And the paint's going to take a while to get here anyway. Got that rear valance on though, looking quite good. And the old radio blanking plate. Got both grills done. Just spent a good 30 minutes getting a previous owner's overspray off of this ducting vent. But it's better than it was. Now that was well fun. So the car's constantly in and out, even though it's warm. It does like to rain on me. So I'm going to grease my beam. Just pushing it through, slowly. Going to give the old peroxide trick a go on this washer bottle. Hopefully it'll make it a little bit brighter on the outside. Might need a little bit of work on the inside, but I'll get to that another day. Just going to hang this out in the sun now, see what it does. That's the same trick that I've done to get these babies clean. But now I've got all the beetle panels in one place. I'm thinking about getting a little bit of primer on the bus. I don't want to waste the warmer weather that we've got at the moment. It's a nice painting temperature. Just had to get over that little bit of a Join in the concrete there with the dollies. Used to be a single old council garage here before I knocked it down. And built the luxury on from there. Nearly there. Gotta be a little bit careful doing this so I can't see the actual cabling for the uh, lights and plug sockets and whatnot that are up in the beams. Just found my top dead centre tool. If you know, you know. Just saves using the old finger. Right, gonna give it a gentle bath in. I think it's the roof that I wanna concentrate more so on. See how far I get. Been over it once with a wet sponge and abrasive pad. Just making sure I get all that dirt off. And I'll prep clean this after. Anyway, before I attempt any paint. Is this meant to have holes in this uh, window gutter here, like the beetle has? Instead of having a river running through it? Comment below. I'll let that dry off for a bit and then I'll uh, get some prep clean on it. Letting it dry gives me an opportunity to work out how I'm actually going to mask this middle section out. Not difficult, just a little time consuming. So I've gone round the whole edge, sort of doubled the tape up, and then was able to stick the sheeting over, and then sealed it down again with another run of tape. Uh, 
that's taken a long, long time, but the bus is now completely masked up, back to front and on the top. But I suppose I'll have to save that for the next bus video. So until next time, make it better than it was. I'll see you on the next one. Nah, not really. I'm going to start combining both projects into the same video. So keep watching. Just because I'm at a stage now where I flutter between both projects, depending on what little jobs need to get done. painting experience I had gun issues all the way through that not too sure whether the content was a little bit too thick but I did try and thin it down halfway through but I was still having real bad gun issues with uh, clogging and basically the spray pattern of the gun it was um, it, it looked it felt like it was blocked but every time I took it apart it was doing the same thing so I don't know if it's a pressure issue somewhere I know I found a slight weep on the hose at the base of the gun. I have to change out a fitting on that. Hopefully that might rectify some of it. Now it had nothing to do with me leaving paint in it overnight and not clearing it out. So the gun seemed better this time around. I actually gave it an even more intense clean. I basically stripped it all the way down to its bare bones and uh, give it a right good thorough clean. But that is intentional. That's because I was just testing out the gun on the side panel of the van. But you can see the actual rough texture of what it was before to what it's given me now on that rear panel there. But uh, I'm going to go again. <laughs> So the question is, when it comes to building the doors back up, what's your preference? Would you do it with the doors on the car or before you put them on? Leave a comment below. Here's the new bracket knocked up. Just got to get a longer strap now made for that dual circuit brake reservoir. This one's a little too short because it was a smaller bottle that was on there before. Well, that's rain stop play again. Everything in. And because of that, that's enough for today. So make it better than it was. And I'll see you on the next one.